We are experiencing technical difficulties. We'll be on the air in a moment. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go back with B&D Chronicles, starring your host, Beamer! Gone. With their two boys, Tyler and Bradley. Together, and with their two children, this dynamic duo make up what is known as B&D Chronicles. So as they're out and about, just peeping around, you never know who these two might even run into. It could be Graham, it could be aliens, it could even be this guy! It could even be this lovely couple right here. So strap yourselves in, make yourself comfortable, and get ready to go back with B and D Chronicles. Well, well, good morning, everybody. How's it going? Sorry we haven't been on for a while. I mean, you have been watching a couple things there are. There have been quite a few developments since we last talked. Things are doing better. Um, I'm still out at liberty to say what's going on, but everything is getting better. Today, we are going back out on the lake. We have been out and about since, but this time we're actually going out and actually gonna be showing you. We're going out to Belgrade Lake. We got a few places that we have to hit up beforehand which we just gotta take care of real quickly, and then we'll be ready to go and uh, just do our thing. So come along guys, hang out. We hope you're doing well. I wanna thank everybody for the very kind wishes to, of you know, uh, of thoughts and prayers and being there. A few of you do know what's going on, a few of you don't. Uh, it is an internal issue that has kind of followed me part of my life but I'm moving on from it and I think we're gonna be all right but I want to thank you guys anyway without further ado let's get this going but before we can do that we have to load these kayaks because I mean we can't go out kayaking without kayaks right right baby um yeah Well, I can safely say that she's strapped on tight. We're definitely giving this quite a bit of a whirl. It's gonna be a little crazy, but I think she'll do it. So now that we're strapped, ready to go, got the car cooled down, gotta make a couple stops. And then we're out of town. And then we're out of town. So we'll see you when we get out of town, probably in the next hour or so. Give or take? Give or take. Give or take. Which button is it? Um, the red one. The red one? Well, alrighty, we are back, guys, and we are here at Wilson Lake. Decided to go ahead and actually come here because we actually are kind of on a tight schedule because we're going to be hanging out with Cole later. I have uh, pretty much a tea time, I think, something like that. We're going to go out to the golf course and just hang out. I don't know how much out there we'll show you, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit just taken out. But we're gonna put you into a safe pack on my neck, the lanyard, like we did before. Mm -hmm. and we're gonna go out on the lake here at Wilson Lake and uh, see what we can see. Take you guys along. Let's get started. Let's get this thing, these, let's get these off the thing. Let's see how fast we can do this. Watch this. I think we can do it, right? Yeah. Pretty fast? Yeah. Okay. Whoa! Look how fast we're moving, baby. I knew you was Wonder Woman. Aww. Super, super fast. You're Wonder Woman and a Super Woman to me. Thank you, baby. All right, let's finish getting these off of here. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna throw you right into this case. All right, so now we're in the case, as you can tell. I know it's probably harder to hear, so I'll try and talk as clearly as I, and closely as I possibly can. Just like before, we got you on a lanyard. In some instances, I'll uh, try and talk like this as much as I possibly can. You know, like I said, it's gonna be a little muffled, but you know, I think we'll be all right. We're gonna get out there and we're gonna have a lot of fun. I just gotta get some sunscreen on. The last time we went out, well, was it last week? Kind of burned a little bit. Not bad, but it wasn't, it wasn't pleasant. All right, so we are kind of out. Just give me a minute to get my bearings here. So while we wait, briskly out here, a couple kids out here fishing, which is really cool. All right, here she comes, scooch, scooch. Let's clap her on, let's clap her on. You got this, baby. My water bottle keeps getting in my way. Oh, you out. All right, go ahead and lead the way. We're gonna go on out that way somewhere. Take you guys along, look at this. There she goes. So making our way out here, some loons can be seen. There's lots of loons on uh, out here in Wilson Lake. Looks like there's a pair. They're diving in and out for fish. Just look at this. Ah, just look at it. There's the head of the lake. You can actually swim over there. There's a little place to walk in. Oh, did you guys hear that? The cry of a loon. And not to be confused with a lunatic. So, oh wow, gotta show you this. I got distracted, hold on. So quite a few houses align the lake here this is one of the first ones look at them pontoon boats scott and jolly how cool would it be to just come out here either rent a kayak get a kayak or, or have a pontoon boat just kind of take you up and around these lakes tell you one thing most of the places here in maine where you can kayak and come out there are like docks like these you can get on jump into the water pontoon boats ski boats you can come out here and fish as well actually my kayak is actually an angler, which is actually made for fishing. So it's actually pretty proper for doing that. I do have my fishing license and that will be coming up pretty soon. Uh, this next weekend in fact, actually. Hi, sweetie. Hi. How's it going? Pretty good. I'm loving it out here. The view is absolutely amazing. It's so surreal, especially when you're like this low on the water, like you're down one with it. So you have to look up. Amazing. All right, so we've come out a good ways, a good bit of ways, so I'll give you some, some perspective. This house right here, you can actually kind of see at the front of the dock over there as you first come in, but right there, right there is where we first came in. A good, uh, if I had to guess, about a quarter of a mile-ish, give or take from where we were, so yeah, should be. A lot of fun it's nice it's calm as you can tell she's going out there a little bit i think she's taking some pictures i'm not quite sure wow i was just look at that house what a heck of a way to run off the, your back porch and hop in your boat and just speed off somewhere you know boy i tell you what this is a little bit of a workout but it's totally worth it just sitting on this calm water it's just it's it's something else definitely bring plenty of water i got uh this hydrate electrolytes for 98 cents from uh the great value at walmart it's pretty good got to keep yourself hydrated definitely number one thing so in case you're wondering and i'm going to show you right now what this case looks like exactly you can get it at Dick's Sporting Goods. It's like $10. I'm pretty sure they have them on Amazon. This one doesn't float, so be very careful. It has a lanyard for that purpose. Keep it on the lanyard. When I fell with the GoPro the last time I was out actually kayaking with you guys. I didn't have it on my person. I was very lucky that it caught the edge of the kayak. It caught something and it stayed. Quite impressive, I can tell you that much. Anyway, 
Let me stop gabbing. Let's uh, let's get rowing. You see what I did there? Rowing instead of going. We're rowing. You get it? Hey, baby. I totally said instead of going, we're rowing. We gotta get rowing. Yeah. You get it? I, I get it. They get it. Everyone gets it. It just wasn't good. That's, so what you're saying is even the cows got it? The cows got it. The cows got it three hours ago. Shut up. Just shut up. He doesn't get it. He'll never get it. It's been four hours. The cows can tape something by now. I don't know if you could see that. I'm sure you can hear it. There's a plane up there somewhere. Oh, I think I got it. It's up near those clouds. Yep, there he is. I'm going to zoom in. Kinda. Maybe. <laughs> ah, just to be able to see. So, we're out a little bit further. Haven't gone too much. We're not going to go too early far. I think we're going to go to that rock and then kind of turn onto the other side of the lake. Going back that way. So, just a little quick run around the block. Okay, so we reached where we're going to be. We were going to try and go on that side to come across and then kind of come up and then cut back across but the current is a little too uh much at the moment so we're gonna make our way in and then uh, we're gonna go about the day but i want to show you where you can launch at the area kind of give you a little bit of an, a detail in case you're in the area you've seen this and you're like hey i want to check that out and you might even go further than we did maybe one day we'll finish this but for the moment we're gonna head back in and it already looks like she's gotten a head start she's really rolling at it I know it's it's a running gag or more or less a rowing gag so as we're coming back I noticed this really nice house the way it stood you could just sit right there at the edge kind of walk into the water Maybe take a nice little swim. I wonder about moonlight swimming. Coming out here on a full moon, just kind of take a little dip in there after you, after a long day. I wonder what that'd be like. That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. Just to kind of be out here on the lake in the middle of the night. You know, of course, have somebody else with you so in case something happens. I think you, I think that would be a lot of fun, actually. Super, super cool out here. Oh, there's a, a pontoon boat going out that way. I mean, it's it's a good ways out there to get out there, but just, oh, it's pretty. So pretty. I love it. Starting to get back uh, where we came out at, just right over here in this little corner over there. And I'm turning over to show you that house right there. Look at that observation, Dagon. There's another pontoon boat out here. Just kind of meanders its way up and around. <laughs> the current's just, just taking me slowly. And just my inertia. I can't quite tell you what it feels like to be out here, you know, just enjoying, just being pretty much almost one with the water without swimming. It's a lot of fun. Lots and lots of fun, you know. That's why I like it up here, kayak. Decent walks, four seasons, a decent amount of golf, you know, good. And you know, I have some good friends here, especially Cole, really good friend Cole. So anyway, I'm getting distracted and just, just kind of taking my view in here, like more or less. She's like way out there. Like she's going to be docking and be like, where the heck is he? You know me. I'm, I'm gabbing. Just taking a minute to let you guys know that I'm 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 doing all right. I'm out here. I'm living. I feel alive. This is great. I want to thank you guys for being very patient, and uh, I want to thank uh, some of the new subscribers that have come on. Thank you very much. Most of them from uh, I noticed they're definitely Back to the Future fans. I want to thank everybody who's come along for that. Lots to go and. I'm just getting further and further out this way. Anyway, I've been gabbing on for over a minute. Let's get back in. Sweetie, what? can you do what you just did before? Yeah, kind of go up and down with it. Sweetie! 
too dangerous with all the sand people out here. We're gonna have to wait until morning. All right, so we have come all the way back and through there, you can actually go on the other side of it. And that's actually where children can fish. You can fish here too as well, but they have a specific spot for children only to catch fish. And they refill it quite frequently from what I am told. I mean, there are still some adults that come out and do it, but it is basically made for children to go and to fish. So they can either catch, release, take it home, whatever. Actually, during the first parts of the COVID outbreak, there was actually quite a few people that were actually able to go out and fish without a license. It was actually safe to do so. So that way you could provide some food for your family or yourself or whatever during the time of the crisis. The heavy parts of it. Now we're kind of in more or less a what I like to call almost a standstill, but I'm actually getting very, very close to these rocks. Then I think I need to just turn around and get back out that way where the babykins is right there. As I stated before, you can pull up right over here in that parking lot, come down the, those stairs that are just right on the other side there. And you can come out here and swim and just enjoy the, this is considered the head of the lake. So yeah, that's our little, uh, that's our little tour around here we actually those fireworks and i'm gonna link it to video in the description below we actually were sitting right over there where those where that uh playground is we're sitting just right over there and they went up right here in the middle of the lake right here so yeah i'll link a description down below if you want to check that out all right so we are heading in I'm gonna head right in over on the other side of this dock here Great. No, no, not Dr. Emmett L. Brown. Just a regular board doc. Oh wait, was that when he was waiting for Marty in 1885? No, nah, he said he was happy in the wide open spaces. I've been living happily these past eight months in the year 1885. I am perfectly happy living in the fresh air and wide open spaces. Here she goes, paddling on in. Nice, she's landed. Here I go, Ooh. and I am very blurry. Oh, okay. So we're docked. Great Scott! All right, so we're done with that. We're gonna go ahead and bring up the other kayak. Are you okay? Yeah, my back is fucked up. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm good. Did you have a good time out there though? I love kayaking. Okay, so we'll go get my kayak. We already got bubble gum all situated. Then we're gonna get them all set. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go up that way, show you where you can come in. I'll give you a rough address estimate of where you can come to get in here. Yeah. And if you have any other questions, leave me a comment down below. Ah, and there's s'mores. All right, let's do this. So I'm gonna come down into the water a little bit. About as close as I'm gonna get without a case. The case I have on is pretty good and the phone itself is water resistant, but if it falls in the middle of the lake, it's, it's, it's gone and it's useless, just like the GoPro. Except the GoPro was lost in a much different area. If you wanna check that out, link is in the description. Unfortunately, there is no GoPro footage from that whatsoever. One down. Number two done. So we've improvised and kind of went on what we did before because we actually had to put this forward one on because it started slipping back on our way up here. Just kind of want to give you an overview of what it looks like. If there's anybody out there that does these kinds of things, has this similar setup, if you got any pointers, leave us a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you about that. To me, it looks completely secure. So before we leave, just gonna show you a couple things rules and different things down here at this place so like most of the places and all the other 
uh, rivers and lakes and stuff around here. Places they do talk about having the illegal stocking of fish. It is a $2,000 reward for any information to a conviction if you know of anything. Swimming and diving is prohibited in this area per Wilton Town Ordinance. Clean your boat, milfoil. It uh, can wreak havoc on uh, the general flora. Move of plants, mostly regular boats. Kayaks, not so much, you don't really get it, but I mean, it couldn't hurt to check. All hazard areas are marked. Boaters should use caution if you're coming out here with a boat. There is no trespass, this is a private drive right there. It's actually where a lot of people are watching fireworks going off in this direction. The boat launch does have some rules and these are every single one of them. Go ahead and check those out if you are coming out, trying to be prepared as well. They do provide uh, bags for, for your pets. You can bring your pets down here, but they do ask that you keep them on a leash and pick up after them if there are any leavings. Inspect your boat, pretty much the same thing with the hashed over there. Look out for loons. They are in this area quite a bit. And a bunch of other information. And they do are monitored out here as well. So yeah, oh, and it looks like they do have some applications. I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick, have your child, you can actually go with them. You do have to have a license if you are going out to fish. If you're over the age, I think it's uh, 17, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I will link it down below. There you go. So I'm just gonna come over this direction. On the other side, this is where you can uh, come fish. Oh, look at that. Anchors ahoy. Wow, that is quite something. Not quite sure what this actually is, but it is pretty impressive. Most impressive. So on the other side of the small dam here, you can actually, kids could come out here and fish, as you can see. And right up here, it's frequently stocked, as I explained earlier. But there's the other side. I came in over here. I wouldn't suggest kayaking too much further. You're possibly gonna get stuck, but I wouldn't want to go down the other edge of that. Wouldn't recommend that at all. And one other thing that I just noticed, a porta potty by Or Septic, and it says use at your own risk. Well, I tend to only use those in a dire emergency. Any other time, forget it. Not using it at all. Not a big fan of those. Not a big fan at all. So I'm just gonna walk up this way to show you where you can access it, the road, and the surrounding area. In case you're in the area and you're like, hey, I wanna go check that out. That'd be cool. And they do have a couple places to eat. There is a ice cream shop just around the corner. Uh, I do think a few places are open. So you might just check that. A lot of online listings. So as you're coming up the main drag from right over here, that's on the other side of Wilton. You come up this way a little bit. The boat access is gonna be right there. And also Wilson Lake Inn and Complete Dentistry, you'll see these things right there. So if you need to use that as a marker, plus this big red building as well. If you really, really need to know, it's right here. It's considered Canal Street. Right here on Lake Road. Well, there you go. There you have it. Uh, that's pretty much our day out here at the lake. Thank you for coming along. I'm going to go to the head of the lake to end this video. And we'll see you in the next one. I want to thank everybody for coming along. For, uh, you know, being there. Definitely getting better. And I'm glad to get out and do these videos again, even newer ones. All right, everybody. So that is our day out here at Wilson Lake. We we're glad that we could take you along. Did you have a lot of fun? Yeah. You enjoyed it? Yeah. Pretty decent out there. We didn't go out as far as we probably could have. But we went out. And I good. wanted to show you kind of the area and around and the different things you could do. So yeah. yeah, all in all, a great day. We love you guys. Stay safe. Stay strong. And stay, stay positive. positive. Bye. And keep rowing on. That was so bad. Howdy do everyone, this is Peter McAllister, the father 
I'd like a hotel room, please, with an extra large bed, a TV, and one of those little refrigerators you have to open up with a key. Credit card? You got it. Anyway, guys, this is the, the day of editing. As you can tell, I didn't have anything extra planned for the video, so that's what you have. It is July 26th. Holy crud, where in the world did this month go? It just kind of flew by in a blur. And we have some stuff coming up this upcoming weekend. Well, next weekend, starting Friday, uh, we will actually be out of contact. But I do have one more video I'm going to try and get up before this next week. I'm going to try and edit between work and stuff. But hope you guys enjoy this video. This was a lot of fun to do, a lot of fun to make. I want to try and make more videos like it in the future. And other things a little bit like it, you know, in the style of B&D Chronicles. And you know what? I forgot at the beginning of this video to say, welcome back, everybody. We're back. But here we are at the end. So we'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Stay strong. Stay positive. Love you guys. Toodles. Cheers. And uh, great Scott, Marty. Great Scott. Great Scott. Great Scott.